So, Mark, what's the uh, what's the biggest source of frustration for you guys on offense right now? Turnovers. Too many turnovers. I mean, pretty pretty clear. Got to stop turning the ball over. Take care of the ball. And it didn't appear their pressure was all that uh, severe in the half court. What was causing some of the turnovers or the or the turnover issue? Um, we were careless. We were not strong enough with the ball. I know. Bad passes. We we got to be stronger, tougher. That's basically it. Michael, you have any other questions before I go? Sorry, okay. Sorry, uh, next question to Tim Fitzgerald. Yeah, Mike, I appreciate you coming out. Um, is, uh, is there one thing to point to with these turnovers? Is it, I mean, is it just not being locked in on each possession? Uh, it's toughness. It's yeah. uh, being strong with the ball, taking care of it, and making the right play. That's, I think that's the main thing, so. I'm going to you know, watch the film and learn from it. You're a lot of games into this season. Is it frustrating to you as a senior that some of these things are still going on? Um, I mean, it's frustrating. Yeah, it's frustrating. It's frustrating to lose. That's yeah, it's frustrating. It's like, it seems like it might be something a little different every game that's causing it. And um, we got to grow. I got to grow and uh, be a, as a leader and uh, – not turn the ball over, and uh, we, we got to improve. I mean, we still got time left to, to make a run at it. You guys got it to eight in the second half. Um, started to finally play some pretty good basketball. Missed, the team misses a three-pointer. West Virginia scores five quick points. Does it just feel like you can't quite get over the hump in a lot of these situations where you just don't – you have a bad possession and it just leads to more bad possessions? Um, basically – in in a way, yeah, we we got to execute when they go on runs, and uh, we got to get stops and and buckle up when they go on their runs. Any team, we got to when we when they come off their runs, we got to execute and get good shots, and then uh, and we got to get back in transition defense. And um, so again, we're gonna learn from we got we got to watch the film, learn from it. Mike, this has got to be tough. How are you doing personally? <laughs> Uh, I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be blessed to be here. I'm happy to be here, and I have nothing to hang my head on because I'm I'm happy where I am. I'm, I love my team. I love my coaches, and uh, I'm gra I'm just grateful for the opportunity to be here. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Mike. Uh, next question to John Kurtz. Yeah, Mike, the, the first half, all the turnovers there, did you feel like some of that was a lack of focus for you guys coming out of the locker room? Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, the coaches uh, prepared us as best as they could for it, and uh, it's on us. It's not on them. Uh, we, were, we, were, we knew what was coming, and, um, not, and we knew it wasn't press Virginia, and uh, they weren't press Virginia. And it was in the half court and being strong and uh, making the right plays, so. I'd say I take that. I'll take that one. It was on me. Playing without Nigel for the last couple of games, just how much has that changed things for you? Has it put an extra level of pressure on you to perform? Uh, yeah, definitely miss Nigel. I mean, you know, gonna happy to have him back. Gonna be happy to have him back. But uh, no, no extra pressure. I mean, I, although one of our best players has been gone, we we gotta pick it up and pick up the slack and we weren't able to when he was gone but uh you know happy happy to uh you know I'm happy to have him as a teammate he'll be back and uh he'll be back and good and helping us appreciate it Mike thanks uh next question to Kels Robin hey Mike um 50 points last game, 47 points this game. What's it going to take to open up the offense and start scoring at a higher higher level here? Uh, I think take care of the ball. I mean, it's hard to score when you when you don't get many shots up. In the first half, we had just as many turnovers as shots, so it's going to be hard to score and and any any time it's like that. So that's number one. Number two, we we got to execute. Um, 
we got to we got to run things and get good shots every possession and be strong and make the right plays every possession and then three we got to make shots uh got to get in the gym work on our games and uh make shots did the uh did the offensive game plan change uh at halftime it seemed like you guys were playing much more up tempo there was there a change in mentality i would say no change in mentality it was more like we didn't come out how we sh we could should have came out the gate like out the gate like that and uh not change in mentality but sort of lack of of energy and uh execution to start the game i'd say so uh again i i'll take that one as a leader i got to got to have myself and my team ready to play i mean i turned it over the first possession of the game so you know i got to be better hey thanks mike okay one last question to michael goins yeah, Mike, did, uh, was Derek Culver's uh, presence in the middle enough to kind of keep you guys from trying to penetrate and get in the paint? Uh, nah, I, um, obviously he, he's a great player, one of, one of the more dominant players in our league. But uh, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that uh, again. So on us, we got to be stronger, make the right plays, the right drives, passes, jump stop, right, little things. And um, it's, it's, it's self-inflicted. A lot of these things are self-inflicted, and although they're a good team and a really good defense, uh, we 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 could we we should we should, we should be able to fight through that. We just gotta improve. And it appeared that the coaching staff wanted to kind of share the load at the point guard with uh, between you, Sutton, and Rudy. Was that to just to kind of alleviate some of the pressure that they put on you? Um, you know, it, not really. I mean. All, all, all of us. We, we need to be strong. We need to be stronger and uh, strong with the ball. Bring the ball up and uh, not just bring the ball, up, but in the half court and in the plays and stuff, and just making the right plays. So again, we just gotta watch the film. We gotta learn from it, and uh, we gotta improve, or else we, we're not. We're gonna keep turning the ball over. So we gotta improve. That's the only way.